Opening now to our top story. And we can confirm that the much-loved AFL great killed in a car crash near Ballarat is Danny Frawley. The former St Kilda great and Richmond coach was 56. Brett McLeod compiled this tribute. Having made the move to Moorabbin in 1984, it didn't take Danny Frawley long to establish himself as a future star. He'd go on to play 240 games for the club, captaining them for nine seasons. I'm very honoured and proud to be captain Rob, and uh, hopefully I can lead by example out in the ground. For all that responsibility, Frawley never lost his boyish charm, a bungaree boy to the end. Along with great mate Tony Lockett, Frawley was happy to show off his potato farm. It was his ideal escape from the fame and pressure that came with being a football name. What's so good about this lifestyle? Oh, well, you haven't got the hustle and bustle of the city. Yeah. And you've got the fresh air out here. When his football career came to an end in 1995, there was no way Danny Frawley would be lost to the game. There was an assistant coaching stint at Collingwood before Punt Road beckoned. He was now a senior coach. The members and supporters should feel pretty confident going into a season proper that we're, we're going to be thereabouts. Like any senior coach, for all his stint at the top, was a roller coaster. He took the Tigers to the 2001 preliminary final, only to be humbled at the Gabba by Brisbane. His treatment toward the end of his tenure at Tigerland at times bordered on the grotesque. A Friday night fixture at the then Telstra Dome captured a fan spitting on him. It was in 2004 he eventually departed Tigerland, making way for Terry Wallace. But one door closing opened another, and few could have foreseen the success Danny Frawley would have with his new career in the media. Along with the likes of BT, Frawley added renewed zest to Sunday mornings on Channel 9's Sunday footy show. And footy fans couldn't get enough of him on radio either, first in a long stint with Triple M, more recently SEN. He also had a regular Sunday night gig with former opponent Jason Dunstall. Bounce, gold, fist, get it off, do whatever, go on, what hurry up. What a magnificent round for all the defenders out there. Frawley's mantra was to put the fun into football, all the while battling his own demons away from the spotlight. He reflected on his mental health issues in a Herald Sun podcast only last week. Get out there and, and talk to someone about it. I never talked to anyone. I was stubborn. I didn't sleep for three weeks. You know, and the result of that wow. was I ended up with, you know, basically, had a, well, I did have a nervous breakdown. Danny Frawley didn't hesitate to wear his heart on his sleeve. And it's the football community which tonight is broken hearted. Brett McLeod, Nine News. All right, we're joined in our live from Manchester, and I've got to say uh, it's uh, shattering news to hear that of Danny Frawley. And whilst uh, we did have an inkling of it later uh, this afternoon, the fact that it's now been confirmed makes it really hard to deal with, I've got to say, because like so many people in the football community, I had the opportunity to work alongside Danny, and I've got to say uh, every moment of that was an absolute treat because whilst he was the knock-around country kid when he actually played footy for St Kilda, he then went into that coaching mode, and I've got to say it was probably a period of his life that he had uh, some highs but there are also as we said in that um, story the tribute to Danny Frawley there are also some terrible lows and it was a result of those lows that Danny Frawley suffered the demons that he suffered in latter life and look I, I think as we stand here today and reflect on the life of Danny Frawley he will be remembered as that knockabout country kid as I said and in the media he just was able to to bring that charm to the camera he had a, a natural comedic timing uh, he knew what was going to make people laugh and people gravitated towards him and that's why he was in such demand be it a television performer or a radio performer or someone who'd get up at functions uh, people who've seen Danny Frawley in person and just walk away just loving him even more than they did when he actually played the game. So, look, uh, I, I personally would like to express my sympathies to uh, Anita Frawley and their daughters, and uh, we can only wish that the uh, Frawley family somehow get through this because it's a, a terrible, terrible loss for a man that deserves so much more out of life and a man who gave so much to so many people.